Regulars are enjoying runs at Squaw Valley Ski Resort with a deep love and respect for the snowpack. The snow could actually crush your lungs and crush the air out of your lungs before you even get that first breath when you're when you're underneath the snow after an avalanche. Three days after five guests were caught by a rare inbounds avalanche, completely submerging one snowboarder, luckily surviving. Squaw Valley declining an interview, but says Friday's emergency response involved more than 100 ski patrollers, responders, and rescue dogs from multiple agencies, including North Tahoe Fire. My main goal is to unbury your head first, move down to your chest, and the rest of your body. Next. Recommending an avalanche beacon or transceiver as the most useful rescue tool if caught in an avalanche. Transceivers are the quickest way for us to identify if somebody has one on, that we can find somebody within two minutes. And if completely submerged, create an air pocket to buy time. It's really hard to move in the snow, but you want to get your hand up to your face so you can make just a little bit, just a couple inches is all you really need to help you survive. Each ski resort has its own license to manage the risk of avalanches, so the tactics and equipment really vary from resort to resort. But although they are competitors in the business sense, they do exchange valuable information. Boreal Mountain Resort among dozens, launching a mountain safety guide for the first time ever. And that's the best part about this guide is it's uniform and we can all agree on one safety message. From the dangers of avalanches to deep snow and tree wells, tools that can now be found at every resort in California and Nevada. Back at Squaw Valley, ski operations are returning to normal, but the Olympic Lady chairlift is closed as an avalanche investigation continues. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.